Today we will be discussing The Mercenary by Cherry Dare. This is the book that got me hooked on her books in general. And it's actually Boy Harlequin. Very good and very captivating. Victoria is convinced that her twin brother is alive and is being held prisoner. And there's only one person that she can think of to help her get him back since the T Flack group thinks that her brother is dead. And, um, that is, uh, I think his name's Wolf. I forget. Because a lot of it's in, um, code names. And, uh, Oh, Phantom. Sorry. My bad. Uh, Phantom. Yes, I love the book, but yes, I do get facts wrong. I'm only human. Um, uh, Victoria can't lie. She's very bad at it. And she's got herself mixed up in way over her head. And it doesn't matter because she's determined to get her brother back. She goes to his best friend, which is the Phantom. Codename. You gotta love it. And... Um... It's really funny, because... Phantom, or Mark, is actually retired because... She, because he made a bad choice in women and she betrayed him and she he shot her. And now he's got possible hope that his best friend is still alive and T-Fight did nothing about it. So he takes her for a word. But the worst part is he needs her to tag along. And she's innocent and untrained and clumsy and recognizable since she went over to this island before trying to find her brother and got caught. So, you know, it's really funny that this mission would be the one where he would fall back in love even though he tries very hard to fight it. And she, being innocent, is trying to keep a distance from it, trying to keep it just the sex, even though, huh, you know, it's uh, a lot more, or so it ends up. And it's just a really captivating story how he goes from retired to back in the service just to rescue his best friend, and the adventure to get from point A to point B when he doesn't really even believe in this woman. He's hanging his hope on a thin thread and he's hoping that she doesn't cross him. So, it's the journey is what captivates, not necessarily the ending, though I do love the ending. It's very uh, spontaneous because he does try to keep his distance from her. In the end, once everything's worked out and hunky dory and all. But, like any Harlequin, really, and I feel because they're small, it's the journey to get to the end that captivates and enthralls you. And Cherry Adair tells a very good story about a guy trying to save his best friend and trying not to fall in love with his best friend's sister in the meantime. And also keep her ass out of trouble because she is clumsy and she just seems to find it wherever she goes. So, I would recommend this book. It's a quick read. Or if, you know, you're a wife and mother and everything, it may be just your speed to, you know, read it and pick it up after every so often and just relax. And... As always, happy reading.